You know, the, the thing for me is, is that I like to come to work and make sure everybody does their job and comes home at the end of the week safe and nobody gets hurt and go home to their family. That's the important part to me. Man overboard! Man overboard situation on a tugboat is a very interesting thing. So uh, in the case of a three person crew, uh, if one of the deck crew goes over the side, that leaves just one deck hand and one master. In that situation, the deck hand that's left on the boat is gonna have to uh, work the problem on his own uh, and rescue the person out of the water on his own while the master maintains the position of the vessel. We've been looking for some sort of a commercial solution for a long time to this problem. So subchapter and, and the fact that towing vessels are gonna become inspected vessels certainly has bearing on the reason why we're moving in this direction. Um, however, the main purpose why we're moving in this direction is because we recognized a while back that we do have kind of a gap in our rescue processes that we need to address. From my experience and from others that I've, I've spoken to, there's almost no just one thing that solves every single problem, right? Um, and what we end up doing on the boats is, you know, in this particular situation, we use a ladder to get the guy out of the water. In this particular situation, we send in a rescue swimmer. Uh, the Sea Hero and the Sea Hero Reach go a long way in solving many of the problems. So, you know, it, it takes away the necessity to have all of those extra tools and most importantly, it, it would eliminate the need for us having to put a person in the water um, as a rescue swimmer to help with an incapacitated person. So if the person's in the water, this is already, the idea is that you're connected with your lift line and you're already, the line is out of your way. So the guy is just surfing this, this thing on here like so and you're coming down and you're coming back up and then you're gonna you're holding back and you're pushing and then you're dropping and then you're taking the slack out and then this thing here floats in the water and then finally what kind of you know drove me in that direction it's it was designed by uh, a tugboat captain right uh, Shane Smith who uh, brings a lot of credibility to it because of his own experience. The reason I came up with this idea for Sea Hero is because I, I'd have, I had done or tried to do some man overboard actual rescues and it's just near impossible. So I started with the, the idea that this is gonna be the give back to the guys on the boats, the guys that need the tools to rescue their buddies. And I, I want to say something about the other part of this. So um, the very first time that we deployed one of the Sea Heroes, we were able to rescue uh, our Oscar dummy uh, in three and a half minutes. So, you know, the expectation from that is, you know, if we're going to drill with that, you know, every couple of weeks, you know, by the time that we actually have to deploy it, hopefully we never do, we're going to have that time chopped in half. It was in the middle of winter up in the Camas Slough. I mean, it was extremely cold and, and yeah, she fell overboard. She had, you know, she was all wet, wearing jeans and sweatshirts and stuff like that. And, you know, once she got in the water, she was, you know, weighted down so heavy that, you know, it took us 30 minutes to, to try to pull and get her up. And, uh, you know, after 30 minutes, <laughs> you know, obviously you don't give up, but it took three of us to finally get her up out of the water. And if we had had a, had a, a you know, a sea hero back then, you know, we would have had her out in probably five minutes. There's no, no doubt in my mind. 